Hello everyone, let's read little by little. Let's begin. <gasps> Scrubble was making a list. Oh, I like making lists. A can do and a can't do list. Oh, wow. The can do side was much longer than the can't do side. And it was forward roly poly. That's a good one. Backward roly poly, being kind to frogs. Oh, it's always good to be kind to frogs. Mud slides, making very good sand castles. Oh, wow, my favourite thing. Slippery rock hopping. The can't do side was much shorter. It just said swimming. Oh, I know lots of you are good swimmers. <gasps> can't swim. Who ever heard of an otter who can't swim? Swim, asked Beaver. <gasps> What's not a tot, said Bear. Not even a little at your age. All your friends could swim. Whatever next? Oh dear, he's not very kind. Obviously being kind to otters is not on Bear and Beaver's can-do list. Mummy said crossly when Scramble told her. And I bet their sand castles are rubbish. Bet they are too. Not as good as that was, eh? Oh, that was his sister. Scramble's sister said that. Sometimes Scramble would pretend he could swim, but really he was hopping very, very quickly along the river bed. So he's touching with his feet and he's hopping. Other times he would run along the river bank, trying not to be left behind by his friends as they spun and tumble through the water. Wow, they're clever, aren't they? You see? But most days, Scramble would simply sit on his favourite slippery rock, wishing and wishing from his whiskers all the way down to his toes that he could swim. Oh. Each day, his mummy would say, Today is the day you're going to crack it. Yay, that'd be good. And every day it wasn't. Oh no. Then, one sunny Monday, Scramble and his sisters were watching their friends jumping off the highest ever rock. Can you see the rock? <gasps> Into the deepest ever pool below. <gasps> wow. You have got to start small, his sister said. Oh, said Scramble. Yes, small, she said. Come on, today really is the day to start small. Believe it, little brother, starting small turns can't do into can do. Well, that's a good attitude. So on that Monday, Scramble started small. He hopped along the riverbed, keeping his toes off the bottom just that bit longer every time. On Tuesday, he did higher hops and floated with holding on in between. Oh, he's getting there, isn't he? On Wednesday, Scramble did floating with no holding on. Oh, wow. And on Thursday, he did a little kicking and then a lot of kicking on the halfway stone. We've got halfway stone. That's good. On Friday, Scramble splashed and kicked and swam the whole width of the river. Hooray! From one bank to the other, all by himself. <gasps> wow, his mum's going to be so proud. And very soon, over Saturday and Sunday really, that width became the length of the river. Hooray! From Scramble's Rock to the deepest ever pool, then the splashing and kicking turned into gliding and the roly-polies on the riverbank became underwater tumbling. You see? Oh, he's so clever. And on Sunday evening, as all his friends and family gathered along the riverbank to cheer him on going hurrah, Scramble jumped off the highest ever rock <gasps> into the deepest ever Ooh, hooray! I did it, said Scramble to his sister. I can really swim. There he is with his sister. 
you really can love your sister hugging her very wet little brother you see you started small and finished big <laughs>